here's the brutally honest fucking truth, okay? Most of you are going to sell your crypto coins way too early. Whether you're buying now, okay, and you sell for like, oh, it's up to 50%, man, I'm going to sell now. Or you've been here for a while. And look, there's nothing wrong with taking profits. I want to make that very, very clear. There's nothing wrong with taking profits. You'll have to sell everything by the end of this market cycle or you're going to lose all your money. We'll get to that in a few minutes. However, a lot of people are going to sell too early. I already see people on the on the timeline and social media and stuff being like, oh man, wow, Bitcoin's up to like 90K or whatever. So like it's time to get out. It's all over. We're going to zero now. Great Depression starting. All that kind of stuff. The usual sort of stuff. Look, here's something you have to understand. PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome, okay, in markets is a real thing. Look, 2022 was a messed up year, man. We had all these exchanges and shit collapsing. 2023, we had just days of just sideways action for days and weeks on end sometimes and just like watching paint dry, no volatility at all in the market. It was absolutely wild. Then we had just massive volatility. We had this, this teaser in early 2024 where we got the 74K price and we just went down only for months and months and months on end. We had the Japanese yen carry trade crisis and Israel-Iran conflict and all this other bullshit happening. World War III any minute, Great Depression any minute. It's something I screw you up, man. Okay? You have to shake off the bear market PTSD because now we're in a situation where for the next three to six, maybe 12 months, max, my guess, you're going to have a great opportunity to make truckloads of money. But if you're still scared to make money, you're not going to make money. Scared money don't make money, okay? If you're still just like, okay, I've got to like get break even on any of these coins or whatever, and just, ah, you're not going to make the money, man. You have to get rid of the PTSD. You have to switch your bias, okay? Look, when the markets are trending down, it's okay to be bearish during those times because it's the time to be bearish, Okay. When markets are trending up and we have clear breakouts right across the board, we've been tracking daily those breakout moves happening here in the market. That's the time to flip your bias. So we're seeing people, you know, selling the breakout and you've waited three years. If you've been buying Bitcoin at any point in the last three years, you've waited three years to see a major breakout for Bitcoin and you're going to sell it. 77k 83k get out of here what are you talking about man it's six figure bitcoin time baby seriously and i know i already see the comments like oh 100k bitcoin that's bullshit or 200k bitcoin now 200k bitcoin i think is going to be a pretty high target price for the market now i know some people are going to say lark you're wrong we're going to 500k this cycle we're going to 700k this cycle we're going to a million this cycle my opinion those are the kind of comments, and I'm happy to prove them wrong because I'm holding my Bitcoin. Anyway, I don't really care, but those kind of comments are the kind of comments that will get a lot of people stuck, right? Just in the same way I got stuck at uh, 69K and not selling every single altcoin at that particular moment because I thought, man, we're really going to go to 100K this cycle, aren't we? We did not, okay? But I don't think 200K is a, an unrealistic target. 150K feels like a very solid target for the next few months. 200K cycle peak does not feel unrealistic. You let me know if you agree or disagree with that. But if you're selling at 83K or 85K or 87K or whatever the heck the price is today, it's moving around so fast, hard to know. You're probably selling early, okay? You're literally selling the breakout, a multi-year breakout, which is in play. You're selling it at the first moment, okay? No, there's nothing wrong with taking a little bit of profits, okay? But if you're full stack exiting the market, I don't know what to tell you, man. Now, before I show you the next charts, I want to take a quick moment to let you know about a crazy promotion going on right now from the guys who are at BitUnix. So BitUnix is an exchange where you can go in long and short Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, dog coins. They got all the top coins over there you guys want to play around with. The big thing, they don't have any KYC. So if you'd like to have a little more privacy with your trading experience and you would like to not use KYC at the exchange, well, these guys are currently offering a no KYC experience. So go check it out. And here's an extra bonus for you. If you deposit $200, you have to use the link down below in the description. That's step one. Step two, deposit $200. Step three, you're going to get like 150 bucks for free. That's basically a 75% deposit rebate. That's an insane offer, okay? Go check it out. Link down below in the description. Okay, so let's continue. So here's the chart from the uh, 2020 breakout, okay? So if you are selling now, you are selling early. And this is just for Bitcoin. Altcoins haven't even caught up to break highs yet for the most part. Ethereum has not broken its previous high. It's still 30, 40% under its previous all-time high. 
Uh, Dogecoin is not broken its high. Solana, well, it's time recording anyway. It's been really gunning hard recently, but it has not broken its high either. Okay, and you have to understand, like once Solana hits price discovery mode, it's gonna teleport to 500 bucks real quick. Once Ethereum hits $4,800, it's gonna teleport to 10K real quick. Okay, so if you're selling now or you're selling those right at the breakout, you're selling too early. Just like if you had sold Bitcoin at the breakout back in 2020, you would have missed out on a further 200% upside and thousands of percent upside from any of your altcoins. Now, if you're already up 10 or 20x in some of these altcoins, there's nothing wrong with taking a little money off the table, okay? But you probably want to maintain pretty heavy exposure at this stage in the market cycle. Not financial advice, of course. You got to make your own decisions. I am just a dude on the internet. After all, I don't have a crystal ball. And past performance does not equate to future performance. Keep that in mind. Crypto's risky. You can lose all your money. Obviously. Okay. Here's a, a chart of Shiba Inu. Check this out. So unless your chart starts looking like the damn Burj Khalifa, okay, then you're probably selling a bit too early. Okay. Because late stage bull market, this is what happens. You will see massive markups in a very short amount of time as the retail herds come surging in, pushing the prices of coins higher in a very dramatic fashion. So if your coin is up 10 or 20x in a month, yeah, okay, consider taking some money off the table, okay? If your coin's chart looks like this, consider taking some money off the table because by the end of the cycle, a lot of coins charts are going to look pretty much like that where they just have these massive tower spikes, that's the time to get out, okay? That's the time to get out. Not down not down at the bottom before the before the massive tower. Don't get out at the base of the tower. You want to get out as cut, as close to the top of the peak of the tower as you can. Okay? That is the challenge for you. Let me pause at this theory here for you by the way, when you're considering selling something. Cuz you will have to sell, okay? You will have to sell. And you're not going to sell the perfect time. Okay? You're not. You're not. There's like one guy, okay, like one guy is going to sell the top perfectly. Like literally on any coin, there's probably just literally like one dude that sells perfectly at the top. The one guy who buys perfectly at the top and is like the, the top buyer who will sell at the bottom, okay? But here's here's an idea for you. It's called regret, regret, uh, regret theory. So what are you going to regret more? Say you get bought a coin, it's up a thousand percent in profits, okay? What are you going to regret more? Selling that coin and then it goes higher, okay? It doubles before the end of the market cycle. So you could have had 2,000% profits, but you locked in 1,000% profits. Or you don't sell it, hoping that it's gonna go higher, and that 1,000% profit, well, goes back to zero. Which would you regret more in that, in that situation? Not getting more gains or losing everything? It's an interesting question, isn't it? Ponder it. It'll help you make the decision when the time comes. Now, an effective strategy is gonna be looking at laddering out. And one way you might want to look at it is using Bitcoin as a uh, ladder out indicator, okay? So for example, $100,000, $150,000, and $200,000 Bitcoin, main targets according to the Fibonacci extensions. You could look at those and say, okay, look, when Bitcoin hits these levels, I'm going to take 20% of my altcoins off 100K, 30% off at 150K, and the other 50% off if we hit 200K. Sell everything, all altcoins out. And look, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, okay? If I'm going to start laddering out of positions, right? So selling a little bit as you know, every so often as we go up, wouldn't I just make more money if I hold the entire stack and nuke it at the exact perfect top? I mean, oh yeah, that's that's exactly true. You would. It's a great theory. I like your theory. It's a nice one. I've heard that one before, actually. Here's the deal. You're probably not gonna perfectly time the top, and you don't need to perfectly time the top. Catch the meat of the move, okay? Leave the pickles and the ketchup to some other guy. You want to catch the meat of the move, all right? Here's another thing to ponder. If you're full stacking at the top, quote unquote, you're going to stress yourself out too much. The greed gets too intense. The numbers get too big. Now, you may not be able to ponder this at the moment if you're just a guy who's coming with ten or $20,000, but that ten or $20,000, you might have a position that turns into a million dollars, okay? Suddenly, market's way overheated. It's at the top. You're looking at a million dollars P&L on your app. You screenshot, you think, no, it's going to go to two million next week. Okay, it's going to go to two million next week. I'm, I'm a genius. It's not just the bull market. I'm actually a genius. Okay, the numbers get too big. It's hard to actually manage that. If you've never seen that much money on the screen before, suddenly it's like, holy shit, but it could go bigger, right? The greed just screws you so bad. But if you've been diligently making a habit of taking money off the table, suddenly you're not going to be so greeted out by the big numbers. You'll be okay. You'll say, I, I know what taking profits like. I know how to hit the sell button. So I'm going to do it again. 
and again, 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 until there's nothing left. And I've fully exited the market and I've got, you know, great money and I'm taking the wife and the kids and we're, you know, going and living in Australia for a year or, you know, Italy or whatever your fantasy might be. So look, if you're in the market and suddenly you feel like I'm a genius, okay, the media is going crazy. Everyone thinks they're a genius, not just you. The media is telling you. Cab drivers giving you dog coin tips. Sell, 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 sell into extreme euphoria every time. Here's the thing. That day is not today, my friends. That day will come, right? That day will come. And you'll know it. The question is, will you be able to see it through the lens of greed, okay? And when the day comes, you will need to exit out of all your altcoins. I'm not saying you need to sell your Bitcoin if you're willing to ride it down through volatility. That's a different story. All your altcoins, chop them all, man. Have no mercy. Sell every one of these gosh darn things. Not financial advice, of course. Sell all the damn things because look at history. These things go down 99% in the bear market. The vast majority of them will go to literally zero and never come back. Bull markets end abruptly. Okay, you're going to wake up one day and everything's going to be down 20, 30, 40% like that. And then you to enter denial and don't want to sell. Oh, it's going to go back up. And this is just a healthy correction. No, it's over. And you haven't taken any money off the table because you didn't have good habits. Within a six month period of when the market tops, maybe 12 months max, most of these crypto coins are going to go to zero and you will have nothing left. Your portfolio will be down 99%. You suddenly went from being rich to being broke as fuck. Why do that to yourself? Take the damn money off the table and run. Okay. And when you sell, Here's a very important tip. Listen up. When you sell, do not rush back into more coins thinking you're going to double or triple it, okay? When you sell, you go to stable coins or you get money out and put it in the bank and you just wait. You just wait. You make sure you pay your taxes, okay? And then you wait. Don't buy anything for 12 months. If you think the market is topped, you have no business buying anything for at least 12 months. And then you can re-enter your coins when the bottom of the bear market comes in, okay? And you can buy Bitcoin at a 70, 80% discount. Ethereum, Solana, 70, 80% discounts. Buy your dog coins at 99% discounts. That's the time to buy. And probably take some of your money and diversify into other stuff. Buy some stocks, buy some property, buy some gold, whatever, right? Crypto is a great place to make money, but except from Bitcoin, it's not a great place to store money long-term, okay? Keep that in mind. Thanks for watching.